Number 13. A type of cuckoo clock keeps time by having a mass bouncing on a spring, usually something cute like a cherub on a chair. What force constant is needed to produce a period of 0.5 seconds for a 0.015 kilogram mass? All right, so anytime we have like, you know, uh, oscillatory movement or a spring bouncing up and down, uh, we can use this formula over here. All right, that it relates the period basically to the mass and the force constant of the spring. So that tells us that the period of oscillation, right, which is just simply the time of one oscillation, that's all it is, is equal to then 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass of the object that's oscillating divided by the spring constant. Now, if I call a spring constant force constant tomato tomato. So what they're asking us to do is solve for force constant. So let's solve this bad boy for k, okay? What I'm going to do is divide out the 2 pi from both sides. So this is t over 2 pi. That's going to be equal to the square root of m over k. Now I realize i got to get rid of the square root, so i got to square both sides, right? So this now leaves me with t over 2 pi that whole thing squared will equal then m over k. And now simply I gotta solve this for k so I can do a little cross multiplication here, right? Bring the k out of the denominator, up into the numerator, and bring this all the way down into that denominator. And there you go, here's the formula. And that's it, just plug in the values. So the mass is 0 0.015 as they mentioned. The period is gonna be 0 0.5 seconds, divided by then two pi. Don't forget to square the denominator. And let's do it. So 0 0.015 divided by now parentheses, 0 0.5 divided by 2 pi, close the parentheses, square it, and we get about 2.3, so 2.37 uh, or so. And that's going to be in newtons per meter. And that's all. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.